Jeremy, and today we're going to take a look at a group puzzle game um, designed by Peter Burley by the name of Take It Easy. And this is basically a solitaire puzzle game that several players are going to be playing simultaneously in hopes of getting the top score. The game, my version, goes from one to four players, but I know that there are versions that go to six or eight players, and you could buy multiple copies of the same game and just have multiple people play it across many copies of the game which is a nice feature of it so although if i bought a second one of these i could have it go up to eight players for example let me take a minute to show you how the game plays out and i'll come back and let you know what i think about it and take it easy each player is going to start with one of these player boards as well as a set of these tokens which are identical except for the background color. One player will take their tokens and shuffle it up and then they will draw one tile at random and they'll read out the number of the tile so five six four for example and other players will find this tile in their supply and now each player will have to place that tile onto their board in any space then simply put they'll draw another tile and then call that out so five seven eight in this case and now they'll have to place this one on the board and they could place that anywhere on the board the idea, though, is that each player is trying to create lines across their grid that have all the same value on it. So, for example, here, um, if the player was able to have four fives, they would be able to score that at the end of the game. So let's say player did that, then this, and each time they'll draw a tile, they'll simply call it out for other players, and this will go until all players have filled their grid. Some tiles will not be used. I'll show you how to score in one moment. So here we have an in-game uh, situation. You can see every space in the board will be filled and though there will be several tiles that have not been yet drawn or played by players. Um, the game will end immediately as soon as this has been filled. And all you're going to do to score is you'll look at every row and every column going diagonally and you'll see if all of them have the same value. So here we have 115, so that would not match, but here we would have 99999, nine, 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 so that would match. So this would score nine points times the number of tiles in that row, which is five, so 45 points. And you'll do that for every row and column. You'll tally up your points, and the person with the most points will win. You can play also over several rounds. The rule book that I have suggests four rounds that you would play this, and the highest total score would be the winner. Okay, so that is Take It Easy, and I think as you can see there that this is a rather simple game, but at the same time it's one that is satisfying because you're going to be solving the same exact puzzle as other players at the same time, but you're going to get vastly different results as those other players. And really it's just a matter of being lucky and trying to you know place so that no matter what tile comes up you have options and that's really the crux of the game it's really a simple game um, I know that there is a sequel to it which does add a, some f forms of complexity and there's this other game it's a spin-off which is called take it higher which gives you some other scoring things and, and also plays in uh, four directional tiles so you could score in four directions off of each tile and those are just um, more advanced versions, but this is really terrific for what it is. It's a, a game that, um, like I said, if you buy multiple copies of it, you could play with an infinite number of people. And you'd be surprised, I think, how many different outcomes you get based on the fact that you're all playing off the same board. As soon as you set one tile on that board, you're essentially going to be differentiating yourself from other players and ending up with a different result. So it's a game that I think is very approachable. Practically anybody could enjoy it. And it's a game that's very hard to do well off of do well at right off the bat, which is nice. Um, ultimately, I think that the game is suggesting that you play over four rounds and keep score. I tend not to do that. We just do one round at a time, have a winner each round, and play until we want to move on to a different game, and, and that makes it a really great filler. So, all in all, I would definitely recommend Take It Easy, and thanks for watching.